Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on 80k Pinecone. In this video, I want to encourage guys that if you <coughs> are afraid of um, trying to grow a beard, <coughs> don't be, you know, um, try it. You don't have anything to lose. Sure, people might, you know, make fun of you or say funny things to you or who knows. I really have no idea who you know and what's going to happen to you. But um, be confident in yourself. And, you know, realize that um, you are you. And you shouldn't try to live like other people, okay? Be yourself. Be yourself. <laughs> That's really important is be yourself. So I am Samuel. I will be Samuel, okay? I'm not this other person. And don't try to act like someone else. Act like you. Because that's what you should do. Um, you know, I think... Sometimes, too, we get stuck in, like, a habit or a rut. Um, we do the same thing day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out. And so we never think of any other things to do. And so <clears throat> my recommendation is, this, is that if you are one of those people where, you know, you just shave every single day or every few days or whatever, let your hair grow out a little bit and see what you look like doesn't mean you have to have a full beard or anything like that, you know. But I think that it is, it's important, maybe as you're growing up, it's like a milestone thing. I mean, it, it, it's just, I think it's a good thing to do, that's all. And um, if you can't do this, that's okay too, you know. Um, the important point is, is to be happy um, with how you look and who you are, and, and that's really important, because you don't want to, like, um, go through life feeling sad and depressed all the time about how you look, um, but I also wanted to mention that one way that you can have your hair, um, grow better I mean, a lot of it has got to, is really to do with your genetics, okay? Look at your father, your grandfather, look at those people and see if they can grow, you know, a beard or facial hair or what have you. If they can, then chances are you probably will be able to as well. But then again, I can't say 100% certain, you know, I don't know everything and I don't claim to, but... Uh, many of the same things that I talk about, okay, on my videos here that are dealing with hair loss and baldness and things like that, the same things apply for all the hair on your body, okay, in your facial hair. If you eat a healthy diet, um, animals that are grass-fed, uh, free of antibiotics and all these bad chemicals and things, and you're eating your fruits and your veggies and just whole foods... Okay, that's going to help your body to be able to grow better hair. Your hair will be healthier and it will look nicer. And it should be thicker too. Um, and all these things are really dependent on the state and health of your body. What you're giving your body is for nutrition. And um, I know, you know, in my last video we talked about you know, just saw palmetto inhibit facial hair growth. And in my case, I don't see, it doesn't seem to be the case. In fact, from all the science, it shows that it can help boost your testosterone levels. And testosterone is what helps your body grow hair. So I think that it's actually been helpful in my case. But again, I don't know what that's going to be for everyone else. But I do know... <laughs> I do know that by taking, you know, biotin, B-complex vitamins and MSM and vitamin C 
and eating, you know, really healthy, it's going to be very beneficial for growing facial hair or head hair or, you know, really any hair. You, your body needs it, okay? You have to give your body the tools and resources so that it can go to work for you. That's what you have to do. So I encourage all you guys to continue to eat healthy, take care of your body, and watch and see your body take care of you. Don't listen to all these haters and people that say, well, you don't want to take that herb, you don't want to take that supplement, you don't want to eat this or that or whatever because it's going to screw up your hormones and it's, it's going to make you be a little boy and you're not going to be able to grow facial hair or anything like that. Look, I've been on YouTube for a while now and I've had people say these things to me on YouTube and, you know, the only thing that they're really doing for me is they're growing my my YouTube, <clears throat> they're growing my popularity, I'm getting more views, I'm getting more likes, so, you know, although they think that they're trying to knock me down, they're really helping my channel grow. It's unfortunate that people have to resort to negativity, and they have to attack people on personal levels and stuff, but that just goes to show you the type of person that they are. Um, but, um, Again, uh, there's going to be people that are going to attack you, and they're going to say mean things to you, and they're going to try to take away your masculinity, and they're going to tell you that you're a little boy, and that you can't grow facial hair, and that you screwed up your hormones, and that you're a girl, and this and that, and this and that. Well, guess what? You're in control of your own life, okay? And you don't have to listen to all the negativity. You don't. Surround yourself with positive people. Read your Bible. Love them. As crazy as that sounds and as radical as that sounds, love them. Show them kindness. For it will heap coals of fire upon their head, you know, as the Bible says. Show them kindness. Don't repay evil for evil, but be loving. Be humble. Be joyful. Because that's what's going to have the greatest impact on these people that hate on you. Okay? So, be encouraged if... If you've never tried growing facial hair, give it a shot. You don't have anything to lose. So with that, see you later.